Hello all you wonderful people and welcome back to episode 7 of my Let's Play series. In today's episode we have stayed at the mineshaft that we explored last time and that is so that we can have a bit of extra storage for all of our stones and our dirty stuff and all, all just our boring things basically and there is more to explore. It's also good to have an extra mine away from home and we've got some um, spawners to turn into um, spawny farmy things at some point so um yeah i thought it would be good to do some some sort of like camp here away from home um i do need to give you a little bit of an apology though so we're actually recording the beginning at the end right now as you can see because of the stuff around me um, and that is because i lost my video footage i don't know if i deleted it i don't know if i didn't even hit record i got no idea but i don't have it so we're starting this episode kind of in the middle of what I was doing there are a few pictures of what it looks like before coming up on the screen now this is sort of the best I could get from my last video and some screenshots and then we're gonna cut to me having been uh, down the central hole for about two real life days ha <laughs> I've never had enough of texturizing walls more than I have now but um I hope you enjoy the episode and I'll catch up with you a bit later oh one more thing I forgot I built, I built, oh, I built my first ever something. And you'll have to wait and see, to see what that is too. Bye. Hello, back again. I've been in this big massive hole for about two real life days now. I mean, not actually 48 hours, but still about two real life days. And I'm just basically texturizing, as you can see, all on the walls around me there. And then adding in like these, um, sort of mud platforms because I want it to look all natural and from the top up there I want some water to run down so it's like a big waterfall and I've done some down there but only really this top section because it's easy to get to so I'm gonna have to clamber down on my definitely very unsafe look um mud scaffolding and uh, because I've not got like proper scaffolding yet because I've not found a jungle and not got bamboo or anything and I've not got enough string but um, I've put some water down there just in case I do fall all the way and then I won't die. But I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to venture, probably build another platform and go and finish that bit up there. And then around the edge, because I, I got, I'm going to be completely honest, it, it got a bit wearing. I got a bit bored of doing it. So I changed what I was doing at one point and I popped down. Should I get down? Let's show you. Let's go. Look, I've put the stairs in. So the stairs go all the way up around here. And then over here I have left this side so that I can build this bit with you a bit later in the episode but over here I sort of worked out my palette and worked out exactly what sort of style I wanted to do I just can't pick the ceiling color I'm not sure if I should stick with the dark oak because it matches the post or if I should go with the spruce because it matches the box here I'm not sure I'm still deciding about that but I did pick out the floor and I went with stone brick and it sort of peters off into the stone and the cracked stone around here just to add a bit of extra detail and then over here i am going to build a lift and i have never 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 built a lift i know it's not redstone i don't do redstone but i don't do things that make my life easier too and, and i thought maybe a lift i could try it because i i figure i know how to do that so i'm going to show you me building that as well and um see how well or not well that goes and then I built this little area here which is just for smelting all of my my goodies that I find all my iron and my gold and stuff and it's just a little bit of a sort of pretty area so that is where I am up to I'm gonna head down the dreaded big hole and go to the bottom there as you can see I've only really popped in a few bits of cobble and I know there's some dark caves down there as well so I'm gonna hop down there and I will catch you again in a little while to finish the inside of this bit here together so see you soon bye well it has been i don't know how many days now it's been so many days but i think i have finally finished in the hole have a look it's taken so long i've been up and down up and down it probably doesn't even look that impressive look it's just a mix of all different like stone bricks and then some little like grass platforms with I tried to put I don't know if you can tell 
and if I got zoom I have look there's like um the what is that coarse dirt for the underside of the platforms just to add some extra detail and then I put these tree things in like like instead of vines I might put some vines up there as well but I, I had to come out of the hole because I've just been there so long so long placing things and um yeah I, I mean the trees might need a bit of jiggery pokery too I think it looks quite nice I put some of these like fence posty things in as well which I think add a little bit of extra detail and there's these steps that are all texturized and all sorted and all done now so it's looking very very rustic and natural which is what I wanted so the tunnel I'm just going to put another I don't want to fall off the edge here goodness I've took all the water out of the bottom now um but I, I'm just going to put one more of these upright arch things it's just for decorative purposes um and I may need to do a little bit of texturizing in there these are four higher I think one two three four yeah one two three four um oh it's not going to let me reach I knew that was going to happen. Let's just bonk one there. Like that. And it just goes across. Really simple design. But it sort of adds a bit of extra detail when you look down that arch. And I wanted to keep this bit open because I have still got to finish exploring that cave. So although it's not on sort of a diamond mining level, it is still stuff I want to explore. And there are still resources that way. So that's in there. Then we want a lantern either side because there's no middle points so you don't want two in the middle well I don't anyway and also gonna neaten up this wall oh well that's not very good is it I need a new pickaxe and just knock some random holes just anywhere I quite like when it does this so you have the same one in the the sort of wall as you do the ceiling just pop some random blocks in to fill it up also like putting the uh, green cobble I don't like using too much but I do like to put it near I didn't put any of this out there but that's okay because it kind of starts on the floor there so it, it makes sense but, yeah I like putting the green um, the green cobble like the mossy cobble near to I mean not all the time like that one but like here near to the cobble so that it looks like it's just starting to sort of get a bit old and nasty what is the floor like we're only going to go this far we're not going to put any more arches in it's literally just so when you're stood at the end bit and you look down it looks a bit more pretty really a little bit more decorative okay what's that like that looks all right that's okay and then what do I do with the top of that arch what did I do here so the arch have I done it too low one two three four one two three oh are you kidding me oh and I counted I clearly can't count then let's do that bit again you have to pillar up That never happened nobody saw that so one two three four but then oh it goes across well that's why I got confused there we go that's better covers that that cross beam up put our lanterns back up from there and then fill in ooh, let's grab that this so that would oh but I'm trying to show you what I do and this is what I do I just get very confused and place lots of blocks in the wrong place right collect all that stuff is that looking okay that's what it's meant to look like there we go and I know it's a bit higgledy piggledy here I might actually knock that out but I won't bore you with doing it now um, just so this last bit here 
is a fully clear root but when you look through let's have a look from here beautiful look at that see it makes all the difference because it sort of leads your eye down so loving that okay next bit we're going to finish over here so what we did is just try and remember now that okay let's pick this one out here we pop one upside down stair there one like that one like that oh not like that and then placing the oh we need something in there have we got a block oh got a good block filler oh that let's leave a hole that's okay there we go and then fill that in and it sort of makes this bit around the pillar and so then you go in this gap up like that up like that and they join and then if you put another one there then it all starts to come together so then there uh, it's actually probably easier to just go along and pop all of those upside oh where are we here this i'm not sure what we're doing with yet we'll leave that for a second but yeah pop all the ones in above the chest first like so also ignore that look let's get rid of that i'm not sure what i'm going to put where yeah i don't know how much space i need for things uh, then go the one on the front of the pillar like that do the sides do the corner here we may side corner Are working let's have a look from here see and so you get this like this pattern going around just do one more like so and then with oh we've missed one and then with the slabs in the ceiling there i have put it on the one above the step so it's actually a bottom slab yeah that's right it's actually a bottom slab so not there we need to dig that one out sorry dig that one out dig that one out but it's actually a bottom slab above there so that it creates that extra little like lip so it's raised up above this thing that goes around all the posts and then of course we need to take these out because i decided to do a bit of a mythical sausage and have these barrels on the bottom just to bring a bit of extra sort of color in because otherwise it's all a bit a bit boring oh. You can guarantee with every block I place, I place it the wrong way around. My um, pointing skills are not particularly great. But there we go. So you get the idea of how I put all of that together around there. And that, that's basically what I've done there. So it's nice and easy. Um, and then on these edge bits, if I hop down here, I sort of stopped it at the edge and then, and then raised it up onto the block that was poking up just to sort of get a nice trim along the edge there. So I think that looks quite pretty um and yeah so that is the gist of it really i'm going to finish this little bit off camera and then i will come back and we will put together some kind of sleeping area here and then we will get the lift done so i will see you again in a mo won't be as long as the time i spent in the hole but i'll see you very soon bye, -bye. i have finished the decoration over here finished putting in all the steps so now we are going to make this a little bit of a bedroom area and I did get the stuff out for the lift. I'm just going to have a single bed. Um, do I put it to one side or do I put it, what? put it in the middle? Let's go for the middle and then I know I've got a crafting table over there but you can never have too many crafting tables. So we're going to put that there with a, oh well actually we're going to put a light up there. So maybe this could be like a little shelf thing. Maybe we could put another light in there. And then we've got a few bits to decorate. Carpet look. We've not got many supplies left to be honest. I think I'll pop that on there. And you want warm feet when you get out of bed, don't you? So that there 
I think it's a bit weird, only being one. Have we got any more? It's very, very simple, but it's kind of homely. It's all right. It's not, it's not too sad. Look at that. And I'll label that on the map when I work out how to do all that, that jazz and probably get like, oh no, I've got thingies over here, haven't I? I was about to say an anvil over there, but I've got anvils there. So I don't know if there's anything else to think of. I've got space for it here, haven't I? And I really like the bat heads. This is, this is bat cave. It's being labeled as bat cave on my banner. So that is the bedroom done. I'm going to whack the bed now and uh, sleep. And then we're going to make the lid. Oh, I've never done this before. Let's, let, let's see how this goes. This is going to be fun. We're going to dig straight up, which means we're breaking Minecraft rules. But, you know, that's how we roll, I suppose. Okay, I think this is everything that we need. Yes. So we're going to dig a hole upwards. Oh, which is already very scary. But I brought um, glowstone because I figured... It would be nice to have some light in this tunnel, no? Yeah, that like a thing. Whoa! What is that? What is that? What is that? Is that part of my cave? Oh! I just saw, I saw the mossy cobblestone, and I thought, no, this is a spawner. I mean, maybe it is. Maybe it's not. It's okay. It appears to be part of my cave system. Okay, this might actually ruin a bit of my hole then. We'll keep going, we'll, we'll see what happens. Oh goodness, I'm a little bit scared about dying, you know. Was there lava at the top? There wasn't lava up there, was there? Aha! Okay, so we're out. So then if I... Um, if I come up, yeah, and then I put the water in there, and then I'm going to grab another water. I'm going to grab a few, just in case I have done something wrong. Oh, something's shooting at me, I can hear it. Oh, it's gone. Okay. And then we put water in that other hole and dig our way down. What? Oh, the skelly is distracting me. Get oh, I've not got any arrows. Where's me? This is not good, is it? So unprepared. Forgot I had no arrows. Oh, don't. That's it. Die. I've got arrows now. Right. right so where was the hole? <laughs> How do I get so lost? I was by the hole to go down. Right. Oh, over there. How did I end up over here? I don't know what I did there. I think I just did a big circle. But we are... Oh, that's not it. What? Oh, it's over there. I'm mad. Right, so now if I... I put water in this one. And then have I got a spoon? No. I'm prepared. But if I now dig down and probably drown... Nope, nope, don't push me down the hole. I thought it was meant to just go in here, but I obviously filled it up, didn't I? Like a donut. Um, oh my, don't push me off the edge. <laughs> okay. But now what we have to do to make it all source block is we have to pop in this kelp. Yeah? In there, in there. Are there the two holes? Why is it over here? This is just where it should not be. I just block, block that off, like, like that, and we pretend it never happened. Yeah, is that right? Now the kelp is going to grow. Okay, this looks better. How long does it take kelp to grow? Do I need to bone meal it? Hmm. You can stack it, but that's all I've got. And I don't want to put it all in there. Can I get that back? 
actually. Let me, yeah, let's go and put... Why is the water coming out again? Oh, is that because of the kelp? Oh, no. Oh. I refuse to die for a lift. Okay, we're going to leave it like that for a minute. And put this kelp in this box so it's safe. Because we don't want to lose that. Because that's our only kelp. And we don't really want to trade with the uh, the thingy villager much. Because he's expensive. A rip off. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to hop in here. And we're going to try and put in some lighting. Okay. We did it. I guess we got to wait for this to grow. I wonder if bone mill actually works. Let's give bone mill a go. Where's bone mill in this box? Bones? No? No? Really? Must be. Why are there no bones? How can I... Oh, I've got some bones on me. I've got four. That's probably nowhere near enough. Let's give it a go, though. So what happens? I have to go down. How do, you, how do you bone mill stuff in the water? Um. No! <laughs> uh, it's not working. Um. Go from here. Oh. Why is it not bone mealing? This isn't very good. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to um wait for this to grow then. Okay. Okay, so I literally just stopped recording there. I had this little like oops, wrong button. This this little like a brain wave that don't you put these things on stuff to stop water coming out? Look at that! I just, I don't know where the thought came from, but I've, oh, whoa, 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 what's going on? I just tried putting mud in there to try and buy a minute and it didn't work, but then I was like, hang on a minute. Once upon a time, I built like this watery thing and I did a watery door and I put the things on and it stopped it all coming out. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to try that. But I'm going to bring you back in to show you my geniusness in action because it looks like I've just worked out a thing. Does that need to be there? Just try this one doesn't need to be there but we're gonna put it there just so that it looks all like symmetrical and stuff yay and this isn't grand this is because i knocked it out well actually no it has grand because how many did i put in no i think i put four in so it's not very good we'll see what happens with that while we are waiting for the kelp to grow um i am going to grab two actually i'm going to take both of these and i'm going to grow them outside and i am going to try and turn this hole into the waterfall that it is supposed to be. Pretty sure that is the waterfalls done. Yeah, look at that. They look quite pretty, don't they? They kind of join, which is not what I wanted, but that's okay. And down here is kind of all right. And we've got some caves to explore still down here, so this is going to be fun. Now there's lots of water, but um, at least we won't die if we fall down here as well. We'll get back up to the top now. This is where we may die. Whoa. And we got to see if our kelp. Ah! Yeah, I'm going to die. Let's swap waterfalls though. Whee! It's alright. I'm not going to die. Okay, waterfalls done. Let's check on the kelp. It's growing. Birds. Nowhere near the top yet. <gasps> oh, we fixed it. We only went and fixed it. Look at that for a brainwave. Right, so this now goes all the way to the top. So if we go all the way to the bottom and punch it, and punch it like that, and then one side we put... Ow! One of those. And one side we put... One of those. This one... Oh, my God! How cool is that? How, okay, and then this one. Oh my god, but crouch when you get to the bottom. Is that right? Yeah, because otherwise it hurts. It hurts, but not too much. I'm going to leave some stuff up on the shelf there. <laughs> I'm going to play in this all day now. 
all looks fine and it works. And I go up and down really quick. Oh, I'm so super pleased with it. And it looks cool as well there. Oh, great. Okay, so that is like an end of this episode. Finally, we got there in decorating this. I'll just walk around so you can see it for the last time. All these beautiful storage boxes, all these little bits of detail around the top. A little bit of a plain and simple sleeping area with some doggos that I put in there. Um, and then this little like archway section to the mine, little armory and smelting section. And then the uh, lift and our amazing uh, waterfall hole, which I think does actually look really pretty. So I think it paid off. I think it was worth all the time and all the effort. And thank you for joining me. If you did enjoy the video, then please leave a comment down below and click the thumbs up. If you really, really liked it, hit subscribe and check that bell to ring in so you get notifications every time I upload a new video. Have a lovely day. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>